see me in 15 minutes and I look crazy, that's why. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, and I'm back. And as y'all see, I'm in the car. We got Babe over here. Hello, we got Lonnie. Lonnie, say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. You want to tell them where we're going? We're going on a <laughs> So, y'all, it's an early Saturday morning, and I've been trying to like set up different little activities to do with baby girl, like you know, throughout the week and stuff like that. But also on the weekends that we can all do as a family. And your girl has been in her like prepping for a new house mode for like the last I don't know few months or so so I've been trying to learn all these like DIY things of how to like spruce up your house and being at Home Depot I found that they do these classes for Whoa, kids <laughs> my daughter's looking I tore down one of the malls in our city as you see over here and they um, are building like a complex so it looks so different um, but as I was saying, Home Depot, um, in my time there, I found out that they do classes for kids once a month and they do like really intricate, cute little activities where they teach them how to build things or some sort of activity. So for Valentine's Day, they actually had one and they teach the, they're teach they teaching the kids today, I believe, how to make their own like little Valentine's boxes. Uh, so we signed baby up, girl up for that class and that's where we're headed now. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with us as we go, babe. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make some cool stuff today. Okay. This, I, knew, I didn't know when people had that, so. Yeah, like we've done like classes, they taught where we learned how to do like the backsplash and stuff yes. for the drywall. the drywall stuff and like how to patch up drywall, black splash, stuff like that. But I didn't know they did the kids' classes, so I'm excited to see how it is. And she likes to do activities like this, so it should be really fun. And you know, just getting into the Valentine's Day mode um for her so i actually have some things we're going to decorate at the house too as well later so i'll be recording that you know just setting up our table i got some little decals for her to put in her window and stuff like that um and then next weekend babe and i are actually going to see a violinist john the violinist who is one of the violinists that we are considering getting for our wedding um he's having a special like valentine's day show so we got tickets for that which i'm super excited for um i don't know if you guys watched my mj bizcon vlog which was my previous vlog that came out um but there was a violinist there and it was so amazing like he was killing it he's playing all the up-to-date you know popular songs and stuff like that and we were vibing so i'm super excited we're gonna have a date night um, I'll probably like bring you guys along for that as well. We haven't had a good date night in a while, so I'm ready for that. You ready for our, our, our time alone? This girl goes with us everywhere, so I'm like, do you want to go? Which grandparent do you want to go with next week when we go on our date? She's like, I'm not going nowhere. I want to go on an adventure with y'all. <laughs> um, so yeah, as I said, we're we're not used to doing a lot of these things alone. Um, so it'll be nice to have you know some parent time so we are about to actually be pulling into home depot so i'll turn the camera back on when we get there
we got our paint now. It's time to paint. Okay, what color you want to do first? Oh, red. Red? Okay. job yeah look at my baby's valentine's day basket it came out so good very pretty now we got to put some treats in it look at my painting guys is it all dry not yet <laughs> very nice baby You did such a good job. Not yet. We gotta wait. Alright, y'all. My baby girl did such a good job with her little Valentine's basket. Y'all see it here. And now we're getting ready to head out. We're waiting for it to dry. And we got one for my niece too, so we could bring it home. Did you have fun? Good job. You did a great job today, baby. All right, now baby girl and I are gonna go into the dollar store so she can get some arts and crafts. You ready? Wow. Cotton candy. Yeah, get it. How about a couple eggs and a couple of eggs? Mm-hmm. Put it in the carriage. Y'all, it's February. And this girl's still getting Christmas presents here. We just went to my aunt's house and she got another present. What's up, y'all? It's your girl and I'm back. Got babe here. What's going on, everybody? We're in the car. And y'all see that car seat is empty tonight? That means no baby girl. We're actually headed out on... A little Valentine's, well, pre-Valentine's date night. We're going to see John the violinist. Um, he basically is a violinist who performs like you know all the most popular songs, and it's so dope. Uh, if you guys watch my MJ Biz Con vlog, then you've seen that we had a violinist there, and he was pretty dope. Um, so we're going to see him tonight, and the thing about it is we kind of want him to potentially perform at our reception for our wedding so this is like a double you know whammy we get to celebrate valentine's day but also potentially check off another box for our wedding checklist so maybe ready to go yes ma'am i'm ready to go um see we'll see what kind of songs he can play for on the violin it's gonna be dope yeah i'm excited we'll be able to see like what he can actually play for us at our wedding so. So, as y'all see, I still got my hair wrapped up a little. But once we get there, I'll pop the camera back on and we'll see you soon. We're about to vibe out. It's about what? Like an hour away or so. So, see y'all soon. Y'all, why is it raining? Like, I never curl my hair, right? Like, never really do too much of this. And of course, the night that I do. It rained. Rain was not in the forecast earlier. I promise you. Yes, He's laughing because he knows it was not supposed to rain today. So, if y'all see me in 15 minutes and I look crazy, that's why. All right, y'all. We have officially made it. We got babe over here, and I had to put my little hat on. These are the vibes we're going for. All black, a little Parisian. Got my beret on today. Um, we're heading in, baby. Ready? I am. Alright, I'm gonna give y'all a little look at my drip. Shoes. A little soft slight. Yeah. You know? Alright, let me show them you, babe. It's 
my honey. Got on the, the, the vintage Gooch, Gucci's. We out here. decoration for the fam bam me and my homegirls are supposed to have galentines but unfortunately it didn't happen but i still went ahead and made sure i decorated it all cute for the fam so this is our setup we got the little table stuff and i used my christmas trees that i had and repurposed them so cute it's a little like candy dispenser we got the love mail the little trees a little love sign in the back and this and this is our valentine's decor and of course my family's gonna get a nice love meal and i'll show you guys a little basket i put together for Lonnie too so this is one of the baskets this one has like little toys and some arts and crafts stuff in here for us to do we're gonna do a little valentine's day craft so these are little stampers little stickers more stickers and stuff like that and y'all i got all this stuff at dollar tree so cute 
Look at it. And this is her other basket. It has little treats in it. We got a little arts and craft project. This cute little cup shaped like a donut. We got her a little bear. More toys, little lollipops, some more stampers. It's a bunch of little candy and stuff in there. And yeah, this is just pretty much it. She got some straws, the little heart ones. These are so cute. And y'all, it's so easy to put together a cute little Valentine's Day box. your girl is prepping the valentine's day dinner um, i'm just making something quick i'm gonna do some roasted potatoes and i don't think i told y'all that i'm back to well, we're back to eating fish again we're not fully vegan anymore um so i'm doing some salmon and pink fish as lonnie calls it so i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and we're gonna have roasted potatoes salmon and then I actually grew some vegetables in our arrow garden, so I'm gonna do a nice little hearty salad and maybe also some mixed vegetables to go with it. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. And excuse me, I'm gonna get cute later. All right, y'all, so I actually forgot to record the finished product of the food, but here are the potatoes before they went in the oven to be roasted. I just seasoned them, put a little bit of garlic, and then here is the salmon. I'm gonna let y'all know it came out bomb. I'm gonna be doing a lot more cooking videos, especially now that I'm making meat again, so stay tuned. All right, y'all, it's pretty early and baby girl has been up and full of energy. So I was like, let me get her to do something. I actually just finished my workout, so y'all have to excuse how I look. Hair is all sweated out. I gotta figure out something to do with this. Um, but baby girl is bored and begging me to do something. So I was like, you know what? Let me set up a little activity for her to do. So we're gonna do a quick little, y'all here in the back saying I'm bored. We're gonna do a quick little Valentine's Day arts and crafts thing. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing. All right, y'all, yeah, this is the little activity set up. We have a little heart here, we got some glue, we got the little pink marker and these little things. These are so she can dip them into the paint and actually make little dots on here and the scissors. I'm gonna cut out some more stuff. So this should keep her occupied for a little bit and I'll show you guys what we're doing here. But I totally recommend doing these little things for your toddler. If they're super antsy, pull out some paint, some glue, some scissors, a few things, and just let them have a ball. So that's what we're doing. And hopefully mama can take a shower after this and get her all situated. So you take these and you dip it in the paint. And y'all, this is my baby's other art project. And y'all see, she's practicing. She's learning to write her name, Olani. Not bad for a three-year-old, right? 
and this activity was super easy keeps them occupied definitely try it with your toddler baby girl actually ended up getting some valentine's love in the mail from her god mom so shout out auntie kwana aka auntie mama we love you and then of course her grandparents had to come through her grandma and her cousin noah came and brought her this stuff and she actually dipped on us and left with her grandma and her cousin for the day which i was not mad at i kept her occupied for the morning and then babe and i actually got to spend the rest of our Valentine's Day together, and then my dad also came and dropped off some stuff for baby girl.